First of all, let's talk about the idea behind 23andMe. Uh, why come up with this idea and, and take me through some of the technology? So um, we started in 2006, right after I'd been on Wall Street for 10 years, where I sort of felt like the healthcare system I was investing in wasn't really going to lead to the types of results that I wanted. So I really wanted a system where I was focused on staying healthy rather than just treating a sickness. And so it happened to be a lucky time because the cost of genetic testing was really coming down. You could get your whole genome, and then you saw other trends like uh, Facebook and YouTube and like this idea to just p contribute your information. And so we kind of wanted to merge that idea of you know your own genetic information with all this content you'd contribute, that there would be a whole new way of actually doing research and empowering you, the consumer. When it comes to the FDA and, and, and what's happened recently, I mean, what keeps you focused? I mean, what's been the impact on, on the business and how can you, you know, kind of create a, a successful business, uh, you know, upon hearing this kind of news? Yeah, I think that everyone that I work with, um, I mean, I'm really grateful to the people we have at 23andMe and one person said it really well. He's like, I'm here because if we weren't doing this, no one else would. And I really believe that. I think people, we're a very mission-based company and if we were not doing this, I don't know who would do it. And so that keeps people, and that, that's when you have these long, cold periods, you think about that. And, and to be honest, I get a story at least once a week of somebody who says, you know, you made a dramatic difference in my life. And if somebody comes and says, like, you prevented my child from having this disease, you feel really good about that. I mean, has, has the, the ruling kind of affected the business right now? Sure, of course. I mean, I think that the ruling has definitely impacted, because we can't return a significant part about what we've done, so it's had a huge economic impact to us. We, we keep having these conversations about tech in Washington. Uh, do you worry that sometimes, when it comes to the regulatory, that they can't really keep up with the pace of innovation and technology? I think that the, the, there's definitely a challenge where genetic information, the ability for you to get access to your genome, has evolved incredibly fast. And I think that um, people, I think that DC and the regulatory groups, like they're just grappling with how to understand and how to deal with this information. And it's a real challenge. And it's tough, you know, we said at the first FDA meeting about us is, you know, we're a little bit of a square peg round hole. Like, are we a medical device? Does this work? And I think it's, um, you know, the, the existing system is not meant for a single test that, you know, tests for 250, you know, or more diseases. And so um, I think that's where, again, the FDA, I think, has been a really interested and a good partner in figuring this out. Um, but we, we definitely still have, it's, it's still a, a decent road ahead.